I ain't afraid of no ghost. Are you? Yeah, dude, there's ghosts at the man house, dude. Yeah, when I get a feeling of a loved one that's passed away. You know, I'm just kind of the person that has to see it to believe it, and I don't. Skeptics, believers, and those in between meet the Ghost Seekers, a local family that hunts the haunted. And it's really cool just to get some ghost pictures and uh, explain to everybody that it's real. Their hobby was triggered after an encounter Deborah says she had with her brother, only to find out he had died earlier that day. Since then, the family's been investigating homes, businesses, even bridges across Oregon. If I find other things and other ghosts, then I know that I've actually talked to him. And Thursday's paranormal prospect, the Coburg Cemetery. Voice recorders. If there's any phenomenon going on, that'll pick it up. Temperature gauge. You can tell if there's a ghost there by uh, the degrees. And sixth sense in tow. Uh, I'm talking to them and they're trying to communicate. And some of the strongest evidence for detecting a ghost comes with the click of a camera. Like these photos taken by the team. We got a shadow on the side. Convincing enough to make the pages of the book Ghosts Coast to Coast. Jeffrey's the photog at this grave site. Let's see what he found. I had a uh, few spots over in here and mainly right here where my camera would just shut off. Still, studies show two thirds of you out there would say this hunt is a bust, but the ghost seekers remain convinced it's the believers who become the seers. I'm Alyssa Harrington in Coburg.